it's time trial day here again at the Giro d'Italia and stage 18 is almost exclusively uphill for 19 kilometers, which gives the team something to think about when it comes to their equipment choices. Do they run a full time trial bike for aerodynamics or do they run super light climbing bikes for light weight? So we spoke to the teams to find out the logic behind these decisions. Four of the seven guys chose the propel bike, what we made into a TT bike because the propel bike is uh, a light aero bike and in an uphill time trial we tried a couple of weeks ago on a training camp to make TT bars on the bike and look at the weight we could get and now we took the propel we put the TT bars on the new C24 wheels from Shimano and we have a minus seven kilo bike for a time trial. I think it's individually for each rider to make a choice of what they want to do. So this morning they went up with Rigo and they tried several different wheel choices, but I think he seemed happy with that combination, you know, with a with a super light disc wheel in the back um, and, and a tri-spoke in the front. Can you quantify the, you know, the aerodynamic benefits of that, of the disc and the tri-spoke? Because it, it, potentially he's going to be going 20k an hour and they say you know at that speed you lose those benefits but what what have you found um i'm, I'm not sure the exact figures but i'm sure you know there are there are benefits there i mean i, I think he'll be 20k's plus you know certainly in areas there's that section in the middle um so that it will you know having anything aero is only going to help i think i mean bradley rode this before and it, it was try bars all the way for him um, I think again, you know, different style of riders and, and you know, some who would be in and out of the saddle a little bit more. That's why Rigo's gone for a road bike option, um, his normal road bikes, he'll be in and out of the saddle a lot more. Where Bradley would have rode the time trial bikes, he's in the time, the time trial position the whole way. So, so I think that was the decision there for Rigo. Okay. Uh, the riders have chosen for the uh, Helium SL from Wirtley, uh, the light bike, it's uh, with the Hyperon wheels from Campagnolo and they've chosen uh, that setup because it's the lightest. Uh, it's about uh, 6.8, uh, so just like that. Maybe when they see the course, they can change their mind. But uh, for now, uh, it's a normal setup like this. Yeah, we use those bags because uh, you know it's climbing, and uh, we don't have a goal. We just our goal today is just to be on on cut time time cut. Sorry, so we can't use an, uh, the TT bike. It's too heavy and the position on the bike is not so comfortable for this time, so we will use an Albert bike. Now we guys went in a breakaway for the last three days, so they need a bit of rest. Basically, uh, for the majority of them, they're just sticking with their normal uh, bike with the setup they would use in mountain stages, which is with the Mavic CCU wheels, uh, the regular bike, no, no uh, special things whatsoever. It's basically just their road bike that they're going to ride up a hill for 20k. Tom Danielson and Christian uh, Vandervelt uh, have chosen to use clip-on bars uh, in addition to the, you know, just their normal setup. For us, it's just another hill to climb, so yeah. <laughs> leave the bike as it is. Basically, no complications. It makes our job much easier. <laughs> For what it's worth, I think it's going to be more legs than equipment that influences the results today. But that said, it'll be interesting to see whether there are more light bikes or more aerodynamic bikes at the top of the results page. So let us know what you think, aerodynamic or light?